Hello, welcome to the screencast on using WS2 API Manager to expose integration services as managed APIs. I'm Tarika Madhuraparuma, a senior software engineer at WS2 API Manager team. I am Mr. Shranka Mendis, also a software engineer at WS2 API Manager team. Today, we will first provide an introduction to how WS2 API Manager has enabled the capability to expose integration services as managed APIs. We will then give you an idea on what integration-first development is. In the end, we will show you a demonstration of the complete flow on how to write your first integration service, deploy it in WS2 API Manager, and create and maintain a managed API from this service. Let's start with an introduction to this new feature. With WS2 API Manager 4.0.0, you can now easily expose integration services as managed APIs in the API marketplace. Through this new feature, integration services are made discoverable to the API management layer so that you can create a managed API from a service in a single button click. After applying necessary security, rate limiting policies and other conditions, this API can then be deployed and published into the API marketplace where application developers can discover and use them. You are also given the capability to keep your APIs up to date when the underlying service definition is changed or updated. Now let's dig a little deep on the concept of integration first development which is made possible by this new capability in WS2 API Manager 4.0.0. WS2 API Manager consists of an API management layer as well as an integration layer. While the integration layer, for example, WS2 Micro Integrator is used for running the integration logic, the API management layer is used for managing the APIs and making these APIs discoverable to developers. This allows you to implement an API-led integration strategy by developing the front-end APIs and integration APIs separately. There are two approaches to development when you implement API-led integration. One is API-first development where you create the APIs first and then create the integration logic. And the other is integration first development, where you create the integration logic first, followed by the APIs. With integration first development, diagrammatically the workflow will be as follows in WS2 API Manager. An integration developer first develops an integration service using WS2 Integration Studio and deploys it in Micro Integrator Runtime. This in turn publishes the integration service to the API management layer. This service will then be discoverable in a catalog of services in the API Publisher portal. An API creator then converts the integration service to a managed API by applying security, rate limiting, etc., making it ready to be published to the developer portal in API Manager, where API consumers can finally use these APIs for their development. Let's now move on to demonstrating this capability in WS2 API Manager 4.0.0. Yasas will demonstrate the complete flow. First, let's access API Manager Publisher portal. Click on the Services menu. Now you can see the onboarding page for the services. For a hassle first experience, WC2 API Manager has provided an inbuilt sample service with which you can experiment this feature easily. You can also create your own integration service, deploy it to the API Management layer and start creating managed APIs from that service. Let's click on the Add Sample API button to deploy the sample service. You can also look at the overview of the service by clicking on it. From this, you can download or view the service definition and also see the APIs that are created using this service. Now we are moving to demonstrate to you about the complete flow of this new feature. I have already started API Manager 4.0 and Integration Studio 8.0. First, we will create new integration project. I will give sample as the project name. Then we are creating new endpoint as this. I gave these sample values for each property and click finish. After that we create REST API artifacts for the sample service. I provided these sample values and give version as 1.0. I'll create this sample integration service. There is a sample service creation guide mentioned in WSO2 API Manager docs as well. Now the sample API is created and you can see these two YAML files under metadata directory and resources. 
we have some parameters which should be manually added i provide sample description here and exact service url then open the pom.xml file under composite exporter module and ensure the required artifacts have been selected now we are moving to configure the embedded micro integrator configurations for that we need to provide these properties by uncommenting to make the connection with the api manager here we come to the end now we only have to build and run the service for that we right click on the composite exporter module and click export project artifacts and run make sure to confirm all the required artifacts have been selected and click finish you can see this successfully updated the service catalog in the console now if we check services menu in api publisher portal you can see the sample service we have created now let's create an api from this integration service click on the plus icon you can see the required fields are already populated from information of the service now click on the create api button now the api is created and let's deploy and publish the api now we do some changes in endpoint and redeploy the service After the service deployment, it will reflect the API definition changes as outdated definition. You can see the difference between two definitions using Shodif. You can choose either re-import the new definition or create new version of this API. So to wrap things up, during this screencast, we learned how WS2 API Manager has enabled the capability to expose integration services as managed APIs. Then we identified what integration first development is and moved on to demonstration of the functionality of this new feature. You can find some useful links here that will help you work with integration first development. You can access these from the link to the slides made available in the description below. We hope you enjoyed the screencast. Please join in with WSO2 for more content like this. Thank you and have a good day.